Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to visit Ukraine on August 23rd. This will be his first visit after Russia-Ukraine war. This marks a historic visit as he also becomes the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Ukraine after 30 years. Now, before Kyiv, PM Modi will be in Poland on August 21st and 22nd. PM's Ukraine visit will also build upon the recent high-level interactions between the leaders. The two leaders will hold bilateral talks and are also expected to sign a number of documents. This visit comes following criticism from Kyiv over Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Russia. Ukrainian President Zelensky has also condemned PM Modi for hugging Putin during his Moscow visit. Let's in fact take a listen to what the Ministry of External Affairs has said on PM Modi's visit to Ukraine. As, as I also mentioned earlier, substantive and independent ties with, uh, with both Russia and Ukraine. And these partnerships, they stand on their own. Uh, Prime Minister had... Uh, um, I would like to say that this is not a zero-sum game. Prime Minister had uh, also traveled to, uh, to Russia. Uh, many ideas were discussed. Uh, Prime Minister has also met uh, uh, President Zelensky on a couple of occasions uh, in, in the last one year or so. Uh, and they will now be uh, meeting again in, in, uh, uh, in, in Ukraine. So uh, I would like to say that these are independent, uh, broad uh, ties. And, of course, the, the uh, ongoing conflict uh, will form part of the discussion. All right, um, Mahima Kataria on the telecast with me. Mahima, if you could take our viewers through the details that are coming in as far as Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Ukraine visit is concerned. Mahima, if you can hear me. Well, it's uh, uh, like you correctly pointed out, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will undertake an official visit to Ukraine later this week. Uh, that is the tentative date given as of now is 23rd August uh, at the invitation of uh, President of Ukraine, uh, Zelensky. And this is also a landmark and historic visit since this will be first time that an Indian Prime Minister will be visiting Ukraine in more than 30 years since the diplomatic relations were established between our countries. The visit uh, will build upon the recent high-level interactions between the two leaders. Uh, as we all know that uh, Prime Minister Modi and President uh, Zelensky had met only a couple of months ago in June this year uh, uh, at the sidelines of G7 summit, if you remember, Savri. Uh, they had also met last year uh, on the margins of uh, G7 summit. Uh, so uh, they had earlier... Uh, met on the sidelines of COP in 2021 as well. Uh, and the two leaders have also had multiple telephonic conversations during the last four years. There have been other recent regular high-level exchange between India and Ukraine uh, less than six months ago in March this year. Uh, also, the foreign minister of Ukraine uh, had visited India when he held discussions uh, with our external affairs minister. Uh, uh, in last July, we had foreign office consultation. And in April last year, the first deputy foreign minister of Ukraine uh, had visited India. There have been other interactions as well in recent months. Uh, a Ukraine business delegation had participated in a vibrant Gujarat Global Summit in January this year. A councillor dialogue in virtual format was also held this year. The joint working group uh, on the science technology was also um, also held uh, recent meetings in last year. The upcoming visit of Prime Minister Modi to Ukraine, Asavri, will provide an opportunity to hold discussion on the entire government of uh, bilateral relations uh, ranging from economic and business linkages, agriculture, infrastructure, health, education, pharmaceutical, defense culture, and people-to-people -people ties. Uh, the landmark visit, of course, uh, Asavi takes place against the backdrop of going conflicts in the Ukraine, which uh, will also form a part of discussion uh, if the sources are to be believed uh, as uh, we are aware uh, that India has consistently advocated for diplomacy and dialogue to reach a negotiated settlement of India had attended the summit for peace uh, in Ukraine hosted by Switzerland in June this year. Asabi. 
Right, absolutely. Um, Mahima, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast, sharing all those details with our viewers. Meanwhile, joining us at this point of time is Ambassador Suresh Goyal, former diplomat. So thank you so much for taking our time and speaking to us on NewsX. Now, how significant is this uh, visit to Ukraine going to be? I, I do believe that this is a very significant visit, not only from the point of view of the bilateral relations, as described by the earlier speaker, there is a whole range of intent in our bilateral uh, uh, relationships, including the economic, including the energy supplies, etc., etc. Uh, but I think this visit uh, will help in putting our ties with Russia and Ukraine in balance together. We have conveyed messages on earlier occasions that the problem should be resolved through diplomacy, talk, peaceful means, etc., etc. He Prime Minister Modi has conveyed in no uncertain terms to uh, President Putin that this is no time for war. Uh, but, but there has been an element of unhappiness, dissatisfaction from time to time from Ukraine who do feel that India is probably more inclined towards Russia in the whole issue. This visit will be very useful in dispelling those kind of impressions and clearly convey that we, that we are interested in the security of countries in Europe, that we are interested in seeing that there is no war because these issues also affect our own security, energy supplies, etc., etc., and therefore we should be resolved through talks, through discussions, and through diplomacy. It will be useful in conveying that message from India directly to Ukraine. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.